So now then ladies and gents, I hope you're excited for your brand spanking new video on my channel. I just wanted to put this in at the beginning quick to let you know that there's going to be a couple of weird edits uh, halfway through the video because I uploaded this video on YouTube earlier and it got copyrighted for a shit ton of trailers so I decided what better way to do it rather than me just talking for 30 seconds to avoid copyright I'd just chuck a bunch of memes in so uh, specifically Space Jam, Wrath of Man and Suicide Squad have got a couple of edits halfway through but yeah other than that I hope you enjoy the video and I shall see you in a bit Disclaimer I don't like Jason Statham oh. so this uh, disclaimer, I don't like Guy Ritchie as a director. Oh, for <laughs> fuck's sake! Here she is. The MVP. <laughs> she kicked the ball! She didn't use her hands! Dude, me and my mates were running into English class, and my friend was complaining that his school blazer had shrunk because his mum put it on too high in the wash. And me being an idiot, I said... All of that and more coming up right after this. Ladies and gents, and welcome back to the channel. Uh, as always, I am your host, Brim Williams, and I hope you're all having a smashing day, just like myself. And today's video, we're going to be reviewing a uh, shit ton of trailers from the last couple of days. Uh, we've got Loki, we've got Black Widow, we've got Space Jam. And by we, I am joined with two very special guests. First up, we have got Mr. Ty Clark. How you doing, mate? You good? I'm all right. Ready to watch some trailers. I'm excited for some good films and shows and stuff nice and last but not least we have mr date hennessy how you doing mate good how are you man yeah good good looking yeah, let's get watching some marvel shit yeah right so uh first up hopefully this is gonna work if we have any technical problems i'll let you know be uh after the fact there'll be an edit or whatever uh first up we have the brand new loki trailer that came out what a day two days ago uh, yesterday, yesterday. 5th, of April. 5th of April so yeah as soon as you guys are ready in three two one play I know what this place is the timekeepers have built quite the circus and I see the clowns are playing their parts to perfection Big metaphor guy. I love it. Makes you sound super smart. I am smart. I know. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Please sign to verify this is everything you've ever said. Right. Just pause it right there. I'll let, I'll let you guys. Are you paused? Yep. Yeah. We're, 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 this is the first time we've done this, so it may be a little bit janky. First things first, how how big would that pile be if every single word you've ever said was put right in front of you? Would you go back through it? Oh. As a little Spanish flea, a record star, he thought he'd be. He heard of singers like Beatles, the chipmunks he's seen on TV. Why not a little Spanish flea? And so he did. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, would you go back through it if there was a massive pile of your own words right in front of you? I'd, um, if they highlighted some, like, key moments, I probably would go back and read them. But I don't think I'd read for everything. I'd probably go back to a uh, moment in high school that I said something very stupid just to laugh at it again. <laughs> oh, yeah. Uh, There's a lot of moments I'd like to go back and just laugh at myself for. I mean, if you want, I can explain. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, go yeah, on. go on. Oh, basically, me and my mates we went into English class, and my friend was complaining that his school blazer had shrunk because his mum put it on too high in the wash. And me being an idiot, I said, "Imagine if you could get a washing machine big enough. Do you think you could shrink a table in it?" What? Are you okay? <laughs> Ty's actually thinking about it. Ty's just frozen. Tonight's forecast: a freeze is coming. No, that's that's just a face of what the, what? What the fuck yeah i was a stupid kid yeah 
Right, uh, in yeah. three, two, one, go again. This is absurd. Sign this too. Looks so good, doesn't it? We protect the proper flow of time. You picked up the Tesseract, breaking reality. I want you to help us fix it. Why me? I need your unique Loki perspective. Do I get a weapon? Nah. Right, just pause it there quick. Why does that remind me of Roxxon? Oh yeah, hundred percent. I was I was just thinking, is that the Roxxon Corporation? Yeah, it says Roxcar, so I wonder if that's like Roxxon have gone into the uh, supermarket industry. Yeah. Also, if they go through this entire show without Owen Wilson once going, wow, wow. I'm done. Yeah, I think we all. Wow. Are. Uh, well, if you yeah. think about it, um, it just showed the entire time streams being messed up. Uh, we already know the the next Doctor Strange movie is going to be about the multiverse, yeah. and that's going to fit into uh, Spider Man. I can't remember the new Spider Man uh, name. No way uh, home. No way home. Yeah. yeah, that's it. And I think it's already be co co being confirmed that Andrew Garfield and um, the original Spider Man. Uh, Tobey Maguire has been it? confirmed. Yeah, they love me. That is a huge rumor. I don't think it's been. I don't think oh. it's been officially confirmed. It's been a massive rumor. Yeah. It's been, I think it's been unofficially confirmed. Like, so I'm I've pretty got sure a feeling. people have seen the stunt doubles yeah. on set. I've got a feeling that this is going to um, paint an even wider picture than WandaVision did. Yeah. Yeah, 100%. Yeah, so first things first, you've got the TVA, which is the time variance authority. So we saw like an end game when Hulk was talking to the Ancient One with all the branch timelines and stuff. And that I was literally gonna pause on that screen just before, you know, when all the branch timelines are coming off. Yeah. But then I thought I knew yeah. Roxxon was coming up because I've already seen this trailer. I'm not gonna lie. Yeah. I've seen everything. But we, we just wanted to give our thoughts on oh. it. Yeah. On on them branching timelines, it looks like some of them are gonna cross over, yeah. which could get very interesting. Yeah. There'll be like some like end end game moments where it's like two sets of the same people running around. I'm like, yeah, just like I've seen in that. Endgame when when they're in New York originally fighting Loki. Yeah, right? yeah, Cap. Yeah, Cap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It looks that, like that is America's ass. That is America's yeah. ass. That is America's ass. This is America's yeah. ass. <laughs> but anyway, that's Britain's ass. I yeah, that's that's about. Britain's and ass. What, yeah. All, what are all these statues that are around? Well, what are you saying? Like I the start, got the giant one. Put it back a little bit. Yeah, there's like giant statues of like just like they look like bald monks. Uh, I'm hoping it's the Watchers. Might be because they've already Could confirmed be. Stan Lee's a Watcher, aren't they? Yeah, yeah. Stan Lee was and, a Watcher. Rest in peace, Stan Lee. Yep. And Iwatu's, him... and Iwatu's coming up in the uh, What If series, which is still canon. The What If part, like no, yeah. the What If part of it, Iwatu being the Watcher is canon, but the actual like all the bits where they're like, what if this happened? Obviously, isn't canon. But it could be canon because yeah. the multiverse, you don't know, do you? I mean, yeah. seeing as it's got crossed in um, time streams as well, do you think we could see Miles Morales in the next uh, Spider Man film? Oh. I mean, I hope so because that will also mean we get Donald Glover back as Uncle Warren slash the Prowler. And I want to see Donald Glover play a bad, bad guy. Yeah, I mean, after his stunt as Lando Calarizian, which I did watch solo last night. You did? <laughs> did you? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, I did. Hey, it's me. Um, what was I going to say? Uh, talking about crossing streams, you reckon we'll see Doctor Who turn up or the Ghostbusters? Hey, don't cross the streams, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God, just imagine the TARDIS showing up and Jodie Whittaker walking out saying, what the hell Everybody be like... <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, anyway, right. Uh, when you're ready, boys, three, two, one, yep. go. You really believe in Daggers. He believes in himself enough for the both of us. Uh, oh, you want to look at the statues? I stopped at the city. Did that look like New York? I, could, I couldn't tell because it was only um, one frame. Yes, it is. If you look at it, top right, pull it back to where... Uh, Avengers, Avengers Tower. Avengers Tower. Yeah. I was literally just about to say that. That's Avengers Tower. So that is New York. But I don't know if that's... Yeah. 
Endgame New York or a different thing. You see over to the left, oh, who's, who's still got it playing? Is that you, Ty? Yeah, I'm trying to find 126. That, that frame. Yeah. It's like Loki stood in like a oh, desolate... Oh, yeah, 100%. That's the Avengers and Tower. And you see over to the left, there's like a building with a pole through it. It yeah. kind of reminds me of the Sanctum Sanctorum roof. Oh, yeah. A little bit. But uh, you can't see anything, like, fully over to the right. Uh, what I was also going to say was the statues. Uh, I don't know if you can pull it back a little bit. I'm not going to bother, but the statues look pretty sick. What I will say, boys, is I forgot to say in the beginning, you can talk over the trailer. You just can't do a whole spiel, so you can, like, react to it, if that makes sense. So, like, what I was doing. Oh, the daggers. Oh, this. Oh, that. You get yeah. All right. yeah, 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 the yeah. way the ground is moving in that clip of New York yeah. looks very Doctor strange -ish. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if he turns up. It also kind of reminds me of um, Age of Ultron, where Sokovia gets lifted up. Yeah. You might actually be right. It might be an alternate timeline where New York gets lifted up instead of Sokovia. Mm. But yeah. Right. Ready to go, boys? Three, yep. two, one. God. He believes in himself enough for the both of us. Oh. It is adorable that you think you just like you say bye. <laughs> manipulate me. That must be inside the rock. Oh, hang on. No, not yet. I'm ten steps ahead of you. You'll know when it shows up in a second. You're not big on trust, are you? I think you it might be this me. bit in a minute. Loki, I've studied almost every moment of your entire life. You've literally stabbed people in the back like 50 times. Yep. <laughs> I'd never do it again. <laughs> I, I guess you want the same part as yeah. me. All right, just there. Uh, 206, it might be. It'll be a little bit earlier. Yeah. There's two people sat on a rock. I might have to pull it back a little bit. Yeah, it's two. Oh, right. Right. Uh, yeah, right. Everybody exactly thinks that's that. Black Widow. Literally everybody thinks that's Black Widow, but there's a bit like of like casting that. where there's a woman that wears the exact same suit of that and wears blonde hair. I'll see if I can find the picture and put it up here if I remember to do it while I'm editing, right, over the top of us all. But she looks yeah. just like that. I'll send the picture to you guys in the Skype chat, like, at the end, but she yeah. looks just like that. So maybe it's Black Widow and that's just a... Uh, What's the word? Stand uh, no, not standing. A uh, it's trying to pull us off the actual target of what it is. So they've cast that other woman oh. to pull us off. Like us thinking that it's black, black Widow. Yeah, exactly. That's the word. Is it just me? But with this scene, it, I I might be looking too much into this. Um, but it looks like it could be the Avengers HQ and the purple light. It looks like it could be shadowing, foreshadowing uh, Thanos. Or... Yeah something um, because obviously it's a big crater with some water in we know that is how the avengers hq ends in endgame but i just don't know why yeah, black got what? the big spotlights there as well i just don't know why black widow would be there rather than uh at Vormir where she died and don't forget she had the red red ponytail at the time so unless this goes back in time beforehand i, d I don't I mean, know the, how, how we did talk about how the time streams could have crossed over yeah I mean, ghostbusters <laughs> Stop crossing Aye. the streams. Right, are we ready? I'm at 206. What about you two? Yeah, I'm right. yeah. So, three, two, one, go. Ooh. Nice. So, mine's I mean, just the man, finished. The man's just got way too much swag for his own good. Mine's enough. just finished. Um, yeah. So, yeah. overall. Thoughts on the trailer and what you think is going to be in the Loki series? It doesn't look as action packed as the first trailer. Yeah. This one makes it look more story based. Yeah, I think this which is the one. Is equally as good. A bit more story. Because, pardon me, because they do that for normal trailers. They give you the action packed, nutty trailer yeah. at the start, and then they give you one that has a little bit more story. Uh, yeah, this one had looked like it had a lot more character development. I think while we were talking about the time streams being crossed, uh, in that New York scene, it could be, as you said, uh, that Sokovia, instead of that game, lifted up New York. Yeah. 
I can't wait to see how they play that, or even see what happens to New York's the Avengers Tower in, in <laughs> ruins. Wasn't that part of Wanda's the vision that she gave Tony Stark? Yeah. In Ultron. I think so. The one that she gave Tony Stark in the beginning, though, is you look through the portal at Earth because you have all the Chitauri coming through the portal. You know, like in yeah. Aven the first Avengers. Yeah. They're all lying on a rock. And because you're thinking of the one where Steve lifts his hands up and goes, uh, You could have saved us or whatever it was. I don't think that is um, New York, but that could be like an alternate timeline or something. You could be exactly yeah. right. That could be that scene, just not the exact one that we know it as. Yeah. I think the trouble with this show, yeah. and actually it's not even a trouble, if, I mean it could be a good thing, it's that like it's multiverse timelines, anything could happen, yeah. Yeah. so every guess people have could end, like same as WandaVision, could be wrong, like I mean, we're be sitting right. there speculating, it could just be sound completely pointless that they've just thrown in there because it looked nice, but because it's time travel and like branching alternate timelines yeah. it literally could be anything i mean i know we're not really uh discussing wonder vision right now however i do want to mention one thing uh with the two visions how um which one's a real vision do you think we could see either the imagination vision or the white vision in this no the simple reason that i think that would kind of detract from the loki show because this yeah. is the loki show I think you're more you're more likely maybe going to see Odin or Thor or Sith or somebody like that than you are like a Doctor Strange or a Vision or anything like that. I think they're saving that White Vision for the next time he shows up in a film and everybody will just go, yeah. "Oh shit, White Vision!" Because I think there'll be a, the, although these Disney Plus shows are supposed to tie into the MCU and I think they will very heavily. The problem is the people that don't have Disney Plus and don't watch these shows, they've still got to set the things up that yeah. are in these shows in the film. So if White Vision shows up in the film, then they're gonna to have to go, Oh, this is White Vision from you remember that time in WandaVision, go and watch WandaVision for those people that haven't seen it. Yeah. I just think it's a bit well, too I'm, much crossing over, but I'm gonna say this now. I was hoping that Heimdall would show up, however, um we're gonna get on to Suicide Squad in a bit, aren't we? Yeah. And obviously, uh, Idris Elba, he's gone over to DC for um, Suicide Squad. Yeah, so. but it doesn't mean he can't come back and cameo because so many people have crossed over now. I mean, James Gunn's directing yeah. Suicide Squad and Guardians, so... I wouldn't be surprised if I... Stranger... I, I wouldn't be surprised if Sif showed up in this show because I know Sif's showing up in 4... Uh, 4, Lady Sif, uh, Jamie Alexander. Yeah, sure. thought... yeah they've confirmed oh, that I mean. she's showing oh, up in 4, 4. Leathern... That's Love and Thunder, right? Yeah, Thor, yeah. Thor yeah. Love and Thunder. I can't remember the name of it. I was just about to say something, then I realised what I was about to say. What? I, like, I swear, she died, didn't she, in, in Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. And I was like, oh yeah, that's not canon. Yeah. yeah. But she's... Wait, is it not canon? So <laughs> Phil <laughs> Coulson's not alive. Well, it's well, kind of it on the border. As, it's it's canon, canon adjacent. What uh, I've always said right, is canon, is if somebody from the TV show shows up in the movies, then it's canon. Like Agent yeah. Agent Carter, I believe is now canon because you see Jarvis turn up in Endgame. Yeah. Right. I think if anything's yeah, so... gonna be uh, canon, it's gonna be Agents of Shield and uh, Agent Carter because they were both done on ABC, which is owned by Disney. I don't think anything yeah. from Netflix, although they, they have said that Daredevil might show up in um, Far From uh, No Way Home, I should say. I oh, know. I'm pretty sure that's been confirmed now. The entire Netflix defenders are canon and they could show up nice oh you know what else has been confirmed that i can't wait to see in far from home mysterio is not dead yeah it's been confirmed that mysterio isn't dead oh come on jake jill and hole get some shit right done. boys sorry to cut you off but we've got another four yeah, trailers to get God. through and we're gonna be it's for a 20 minute recording already um right so next up we have the final what well it says Black Widow new trailer, but what they're basically calling the final Black Widow trailer. It's now coming out July 9th, I believe. And it's also getting pre premium access on Disney+. Plus. So if you want to pay 20 quid on Disney+, Plus, you can watch it there. But I'm hoping the cinemas in this country are open by then. And I think the two boys either side of me are as well. So we can get yep. back to normal. Right, so uh, got the Black Widow one queued up. So in three, two, one, play. Is that Budapest? 
It better be. Oh, they did mention that Budapest would be in this. Oh, oh cap. Oh, yes. cap. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Age of all the oh, Civil it's... War. Oh, this is beautiful. Between what the world wants you to be. Just quickly, right? Just pause it. 21. I'm not going to push it back. But you know that scene where they all put their fists in? Have you yeah. seen the symbolism of how it connects to everything? Oh, yeah. The, um... It looks like the art, it looks like the art reactor. It. Yeah, that's so yeah. cool. Right, anyway, sorry. I'm not going to... These are all flashbacks. We haven't actually got to the good stuff yet. Right. Three, two, one, play. You're right, Ty. Play, play, yeah, play, 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 play. play. No, this scene again. Oh, no, I, don't I, know. Know. I didn't cry during the cinema with this one because it was just kind of I out did. of nowhere. I, I was just more gobsmacked. Here we go, July. That yeah, white suit, though. So Who the hell right, is yeah, that just pause it. That kid, I think it's one of those two young. Either Yelena yeah. or... Or her. Or her. Mm. Yeah. So, because. Uh, it looks like a boy. Yeah, but it's, it's they're spies, aren't they? So they're trying to blend in. I think one of them's going to have been picked up off the street because that's what the whole oh, red yeah. room's about. Right, anyway, let's play it. What time are you on? You are. Uh, 39 seconds. Um, 39. Bit ahead. I'm on. Yeah, 39. Back right, right, so three, two, one, back. Where did you think I was all this time? I love Florence Pugh. We have unfinished business. My girls. Yeah, there you are go. The David Armour. I'm sorry. Thanks for us. We our orders and we played our rules. It wasn't real. Right, just quickly, pause. One minute, three seconds. I've got. Where they're all like yep. aiming and shooting at, yep. at stuff, yep. right? I think right, Rachel Vice is going to turn them into um, the Red Room. You know, who's chasing like Taskmaster, and uh, you see him yeah. later on in the film. Ray Winston is the head of the Red Room now, and he's trying to like track down. All, I think the idea is that he's tracking down all the old agents and trying to snuff them out, basically, especially like Black Widow and her family and all that. Mm. I think that Rachel Vice is going to turn them on and turn them in. I think she's a turncoat for the Red Room. Yeah. I think it might have been but, spoiled. I'm, I'm not entirely sure if that's true. I might have seen something on Reddit or Twitter or whatever, but I think she's going to turn them over. Yeah, Rachel Vice has got that sort of face that looks like she's going to just betray everyone. Yeah. Whereas David Harbour's got the face in this film of... Beast. I can't remember. He's, he's basically like the uh, Russian version of Captain America. That's what Red Guardian yeah, Red is. Red Guardian. It's so cool. I can't, can't wait. Right. Anyway, three, two, one, go. It was real to me. To me, you were everything. There he is. Big Taskmaster. <laughs> right, just quick. That, that, that arrow bounce. 125. I'm on 126, actually. Yeah. They've confirmed that Taskmaster pretty much knows all of the Avengers fighting stars. So they know hers, Hawkeye's, Iron Man. So I think that's kind of a tie back as well to Civil War. You know, where he says, like, analyze his fight pattern. And let's kick his yeah. ass. Analyze his fight pattern. Let's kick his ass. Like when I'm at... do, he does that in the Avengers Comics. game itself. Yeah. Yeah. Like the new Avengers game, he takes the power. Yeah, Taskmaster does. Yeah, you're exactly okay. right. He, he yeah. copies everybody else's fighting styles. It just like kind of grains into him that he can uh, pick Love it up. It. But I like the outfit as well, to be fair. Like the uh, translation very, from. Very comic accurate. Yeah, and the shield as well. The shield, so yeah. Good. Right. Anyway, the sword, sword, sword. Uh, three, two, one, go. Yes, boy. One thing's for sure. I'm done running from my past. Nice. That's the Avengers theme. But Russian. Yep. Yeah. 
Right, I think that's it. I don't think we've got anything else. Right. Yeah. Overall thoughts, number one on this trailer and number two on the film that we may be seeing on July 9th. Wow, trailer makes it look amazing. Is this the best one? Yeah, so far, definitely. Yeah. Right, I, I'm kind of on the same wavelength for you lot. That I think it's. I just wish they'd done it sooner. Yeah, I do think that they're using a lot of the same shots. They've obviously got some stuff hidden. We know William Hurt's coming back as uh, Ross from uh, Thaddeus Ross from Civil War and Hulk. We know. I've, I've got I've got a theory on this, but I'll talk about it after we've done these trailers. RDJ is in it. That's confirmed. Pre, because uh, this is set between Civil War and Infinity War, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So RDJ is back, confirmed. I think this is one of the last films that he, they said he was going to be doing. So. Um, well, at least it's a better send off than the Doolittle movie. Oh, <laughs> fuck yes. <laughs> yeah. It's time to stop! What a load of shit. Oh my god, that film. My, my issue with it being set between Civil War and yeah. everything else, yeah. my problem with it being set in the past is... There's no stakes for Natasha now. Yeah, you are very oh, true. We know she's not gonna die. But any prequel, that's exactly the same. Yeah, that's why. That's why I don't. Well, like no. It. Well, yeah, but we do know she dies, though. That's the yeah. sting. Yeah, no, we but know she I mean, dies like, in Endgame. Yeah. <laughs> so like this whole film, if, if they if they try and do like a fake death scene where she's just gonna like appear two seconds later, is oh, no yeah, I don't think that. they will because I think Marvel oh, are yeah. a little bit more astute. Is probably the word for that. Well, not even a fake death scene. Like, there's no stakes for it. Like, we know she doesn't die. Just... We know Taskmaster doesn't take over and win because otherwise, where has he been? That, none of that is aware in the movies that are set months after this. It's just, it's just a like. I feel like this movie should have been brought out six, seven years ago. Yeah, they've been queuing it up for ages. The one thing I will oh, yeah, say, they... I think this is very much like uh, Rise of Skywalker. Like, no tension, no stakes. Yeah. Um. So, yeah. Right. So, just fist back with no one. Now we're moving on to the new Space Jam, a new legacy with the Bron James and all the Looney Tunes. And uh, if you're anything like Nate, you're going to fucking hate this. But if you're anything like me and Ty, we're probably going to absolutely love it. Hey, I'm not saying I'm going to hate it. I'm just saying the original was a bit cheesy and corny. Nostalgia. Nostalgia glasses are coming down. Why do you hurt me so? I'm sorry, I'm just eating chocolate. It's fine. We've got all <laughs> the time in the world, that. mate. Right, uh, when we're ready, in three, yep. two, one, go. Basketball camp is next weekend. You got amazing potential on the court, and I can help you get there. LeBron James! LeBron James! LeBron James! LeBron James! LeBron James! LeBron James! You never let me do it. You never let me just... Do me. Hold up. It's Taco Tuesday. Oh God! <laughs> I got to deal with this. Ready? What is it? Taco Tuesday. It's Taco Tuesday. I like how they mention Will Smith. That's a bit weird. Yeah. Yeah. Just wait for it. I'm going to pause it in a very few seconds. Matrix out. Hang on. What's the roast? Game of Thrones. Send that flash by. Welcome, King James. There he is. I am the king of this domain. This I'll is pause the it in a second. I'll what tell you when. Where's Dom? Here we go. Right. I'm on 49 seconds. I had no fucking clue that Don Cheadle was in this at all. I did. No clue. Absolutely no clue. When, it, when he been... turned up, I was like, what the fuck? I can just say from now, just what we watched so far, it's the CG, better. the CG looks amazing. Yeah. I cannot wait for that. Do you and... know? Go on. Yeah, it's LeBron James. <laughs> LeBron James. Do you know what this actually reminds me of? It's it's on the same lines of reboot as the new Jumanji films, yeah. new Men yeah. in Black films, and uh... that was shit though. Did you see Men in Black International? I've got oh. it on Blu-ray. I just haven't seen it yet. Um, it wasn't that good. What was the other one I was going to say? 
a bit Ready Player One-ish. Yeah. Yeah. I was thinking it looks like a bit like Ready Player One and a bit like Re uh, Wreck-It Ralph Breaks the Internet. That was the other one I was trying to think of. Thank you. But exactly that. LeBron already looks like a better actor than Michael Jordan. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. let's be honest, the original Space Jam, it was basically just for Michael Jordan to promote the Air Jordans. Yeah. yeah, 100%. That's, that's where the first one came from. It was an advert. Yeah, it was an advert with the shoes. Basketball with Bugs Bunny. And someone went, this would make a great movie. Can I just say, are we going to get any more R. Kelly music in this film? <laughs> Move on. <laughs> Move on. Yeah, yeah. Not my sound music, but... Right, anyway. Move on. Uh, we're, we're all on 49 seconds, yes? No, I'm on 52. Uh, we're both 49. Take it back, three. I'll count. Right, in three, two, one, go! The only way you're getting your son back is if you and I play a little basketball. Pete, send this clown to the rejects. Wait! There's the music. Yeah. Oh, a bit of road run there. Ah! I'm a cartoon? Meh. What's up, Doc? <laughs> I need to assemble the lead. King, King Kong, Kong Superman, bro. An iron giant. What a team. Gandalf as well, I think. <laughs> July 16th, day after my birthday, mate. King James. See, I could do a whole video just on the cameos in this. Oh, it's it's yeah, ready to play one. King Kong, Flintstones, The Mask, the guys from um, uh, Iron the Giant, Agent, the Agent from the Matrix, Goon Squad, YG. This is Michael Burnham from Star Trek Discovery. My thoughts to your thoughts. Our son back. It's on off from Walking Dead. Yeah. That's the famous cool. alley oop. Yikes. I was gonna have a bit of comment relief on like that. Yep. Yeah. Here she is. The MVP. <laughs> she kicked the ball. She didn't use her hands. Right. Uh, That's the end. What I am going to say quickly is some of it is a bit cringe. That it's supposed to be. Yeah, like I know, space. but it does feel yeah. a bit cringe. It feels like. See, like, I know Nate doesn't like the original one. I think that there's just one question I've got. What? Where's Jessica Rabbit? I think the oh, yeah, we'll get onto that in a minute. I think yeah, the yeah. original has all-time classic appeal to adults, kids, everybody, right? A bit like Who Framed Roger Rabbit. I think that has all-time yep. classical. Um... <laughs> think this one feels like it's going to be very dated in a very few years. Mm. I, I do think it's going to be very cringe, but I'm willing to be surprised because I'm excited for it. I just feel yeah, like I think well, this is a movie made for the fans. What fans? Mm. NBA fans? Space Jam fans? Oh, Space Jam fans. It'll be Space Jam fans or Looney Tunes fans, definitely. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but that is probably one of the first films I remember truly loving. So, like, this film. I could happily not watch any other movie this year. I think just the this. issue with it with me is I didn't grow up with Looney Tunes. I grew up watching um, CBBC and yeah. stuff like that. So um, Arthur and uh, Mona the Vampire, shit like that. Yeah. 
Fucking Tracy Beaker, Dick and Dom in the Bungalow. That's still... Oh, yeah, no, oh that was a good Dick and Dom in the Bungalow. I was a bogus. Looney Tunes, Wacky Races. But me, from Space Jam, I never got the... I didn't really care that much for the Looney Tunes stuff. I cared for the NBA stuff, like Michael Jordan and all the NBA, like, people that actually turned up, or I can't remember off the top of my head, like, the actual sportsmen. Yeah, and yeah. then, like, Bill Murray turning up. And then, like, Wayne mm-hmm. Knight turning up. Um... It is Wayne Knight in it that's in Jurassic, yeah. Jurassic Park and yeah. all that. Wayne Knight. Like Jurassic all Park, of them yeah. turn out. We watched Grease yesterday. Who's in that? <laughs> um, yeah. I mean, they could they could turn up in this. This is only the first trailer. See, there's only one thing that could make it better if they get rid of the basketball and make it football instead. Yeah. I'm talking British football, not American football. Yeah. I'm joking. I, I'm making a joke. No, you're not. You're serious. <laughs> <laughs> I'm being serious. Yeah. <laughs> but I'm not. <laughs> Go on, let, let's get a bit of Beckham in it. A bit of they did an American football version with Tom Brady. I'd I think that. that would have maybe a little bit more wide appeal. My sister loves NFL. My mum loves NFL. Then you, then you can put King Kong on the team. Well, Imagine my King brother Kong. actually used to play for an uh, NBA team in England in Sheffield. Yeah. And yeah, it is one of those things that is loved worldwide. Right. Um... Do you think the film's going to be good, though? Last thing. Just one sentence, sum up. Do you uh, think um, it's going to be good? Yes or no? I think it's going to be better than the old one. Tight? I think it's going to be good for different reasons. Do the reasons quick, and then we'll go on to Suicide Squad. Um, Nostalgia, the CGI is better, the acting will be better, and the music, just from that trailer, I can already tell it's going to slap. And Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle. Don Cheadle, man. Big Don I Cheadle. mean, I didn't even know Don, De- Don Cheadle Neither was in did it, I, so... so I'm on the same path as you. And it's... I am inevitable. Boom. You looking for this? And it, it's good to see him play a, a villain. Yeah. A bit of an ass. Yeah, true. One thing I don't like is they should have bought the Monstars back from the first one yeah. and not use Androids. Oh, the, there isn't Monstars. I didn't get that from yeah, the trailer. Goon squad yeah, Goon instead. The, the Goon Squad. Goon Squad and the Toon Squad. I will be buying both jerseys. Mm. Anyway, right. We've spoken for like <laughs> half an hour on Space yeah. Jam now. Right, next up is Suicide Squad. Right, go. let me know when you got it queued up, boys, and then we'll go into it. I'm on Reddit. Yep. So in three, two, one, bang. Super villain. Live fast, die clown. Die clown. What the fuck? <laughs> I love this song. Oh, hey, Idris. Dark. He oh, looks like hey, he's got Cena. a toilet seat on his head. Like? Where's John we can Cena? see John Cena. Where's John Cena? It's just a floating oh, helmet. It's a floating toilet. Holster. Oh, yeah. Bandolier. Baby. Silencer, mm-hmm. loud enough, uh, speed cocker. Ooh, I like the sound of that. And this is for shooting down John C. Are you sure about that? One black Different. For you to restore your dignity. She's robbed uh, Mandalorian's best car stuff. <laughs> you know the deal. Complete the mission. <laughs> Weasel. <laughs> No, 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 no. And I detonate the explosive device in the base of your skull. Love Pete Renato. Davidson yeah. as well, man. This is for the next few days. That werewolf who Mate, looks a bit can wild. I uh, just pause it here, like 48 yeah. seconds? Can we just talk a little bit about how uh, Nathan Fillion is a national treasure? Ah, uh, the pitter patter of tiny feet and huge combat boots. Shut up! I love Nathan Fillion. So, well, not our national treasure, but about, Canadian that's national. That's the thing about us, Nathans. We are national treasures. Oh, I love Castle. <laughs> I love him in anything he's in. And like this cast is so good. Pete Davidson, uh, flew in the ball. Michael Rooker. Michael Rooker. I mean, I, I am going to say I can tell it's a DC movie just because of the costumes. The Marvel uh, universe, they seem to have a bit more realistic sort of gear like what black widow and hawkeye yeah. wears More well tactical. with dc it looks cartoony and comic-y which i mean i guess it's it is a comic universe but i don't know about you two i think it could be 
it will be dated um, in a few years, definitely. Yeah, I don't think so. I think uh, the you've got Shang Chi coming up. He's a kung fu master, and he's gonna he's gonna be running around doing kung fu kicks and stuff. I don't think if anything's gonna be dated, that is. No offense to like Marvel, but if anything something like that or the Eternals where they're all going to be over the top I, I don't think it's that bad it's just a James Gunn film I don't think James yeah. Gunn films can ever be well, really well if you look at the James Gunn um, Guardians they're not that bad yeah, <laughs> when it comes to the costumes I, I don't think they're I bad I think it, it, it is the Suicide Squad they are a bunch of misfits as well mm. if they looked normal like look at the last one they looked a little bit more normal I just... do like how they are bringing the um older uh, comic um enemies yeah the unknown screen yeah the unknowns they're just missing that condiment man you know the one that yeah, ca- ketchup condiment, ketchup king. condiment king i knew you'd catch up to me sooner or later how i've relished this meeting can we have kite man in the next one can yeah calendar um, man king tut <laughs> yeah Look, can we have calendar on it oh mate. i reckon they could do a calendar man movie to make it creepy yeah, definitely. If they, they made it like a Saw movie. Yeah, yeah we've kind of... I'd watch that. Mate. Right. Um, 48 seconds we're all on, yeah? Yeah. Uh, I'm on 49, but... Yeah, yeah. alright. 3, 2, 1, go. Questions. Ah. And... That is your head. And... Very <laughs> we're all gonna die. I hope so. David oh, Dash Malian. Whatever you say his name. Love him. Uh, so Idris Elba is fantastic and everything. I love that he so gets to have a British about. accent this time, no? Because he always has to do American accents and American stuff. John Cena dancing, a bit weird. Uh, mate, he is fucking ripped. Poker Arts! <laughs> Poker Dog Man. It's weird. Yes, mate. Uh, pause. Yeah. What are we on? Can we just. Uh, I'm on uh, 1 minute 24. Yeah, same. Yep. Can I just say, Harley Quinn walking around with twin machine guns, fucking amazing. Yeah. Yep. I mean, Margot Robbie, if there wasn't a more perfect person to play Harley Quinn in the recent years. Harley Quinn, nice to meet you. Love your perfume. What is that? The scent of death? Kylie Quinn. Cool, I mean, like, don't, even... don't get me wrong, the older ones. Fine. The cartoon Harley Quinn is fine, but Margot Robbie plays it so well. Yeah, she was like the best birds. part of the original Suicide Squad. She's the best part of Birds of yeah. Prey. Yep, I I've not actually seen Birds of Prey yeah. yet, so a lot of people uh, don't like that film, but I love it. Her and Ewan McGregor. Ewan you and McGregor is so good in that film. Like as Black Ewan McGregor's good. He's, in yeah, but he's so. Ewan McGregor is usually like the stern. Uh, what's the word? Stoic. Stoic. Have you seen Train Spot? Yeah, but that's like his first ever role. Ever since, he's just been typecast as this like chill dude, basically, right? And in you've got Obi. And in that, he's like, uh, he's yeah. so he has so Even much fun. He's over the top. He's so what good. was it that he was in? Was it Christopher Robin? Yeah, Ooh. he was good in that. Doctor as Sleep. Well. But I haven't seen that yet. That's supposed that to be good. good. There is one thing I am going to say. The shark, I can't remember the King name, shark, and King the shark. werewolf, uh, the werewolf, the CG. Weasel. I mean, it doesn't look the best. It looks out of place. Is, is Weasel it, CG or is it? Because sometimes he looks CG and then sometimes yeah, he looks practical. Um, <laughs> it's it's CG. It's um James Gunn's brother. Yeah, Sean. Who does yeah, Rocket the same person and all who that. did um does Rocket uh, does um, stands in for Rocket. No, he played uh, Craglin. Um, Craig, that's it. Yeah, and he and he's also Rocket's raccoons standing when yeah, he's yeah, sitting yeah. there just holding yeah. the head. Yeah, have you seen them fucking cuts? They're amazing. <laughs> yeah, oh, they're glorious. Mate. Right, uh, three. We're all on the same, aren't we? One twenty-four. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Oh, that's kind of our thing. <laughs> TDK ripping his arms off. Like a looks so good. It's like a Vietnam movie. I mean, just Harley Quinn with twin guns, that's awesome. I cherish peace with all my heart. I don't care how many men, women, and children I need to kill to get it. That's the choice of crazy one. I know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know what this, this reminds me of? The alien in the beginning of uh, Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Yeah. This looks so good, though. 
That's just one thing I really want to see Harley Quinn walking mission. around with a, a baseball bat. Big Bowden! Should you give us his false? You die. If we find out you have personalized license plates. Wait, what time are we on? <laughs> Fuck, I paused. Oh, oh, did ya? You didn't say anything. I'm on like 216 now. Oh, you were talking, so I paused. No, I say if I say pause. <laughs> when you say pause. Play catch up. We're just talking over the top. Yeah, I'm on I've, I've got up. Right. I mean, Peter Capaldi, I mean, he's not done much after Dr. Rose, so. No, thinker, big man. Um, And then uh, 216, I'm on now. We're all on 216. Yeah. Right. Three, mm -hmm. two, one, go. I like the gun. Idris's gun looks bad. Oh, it's cool where it spins around. Mate. So August sixth, that is. Um, what are we saying, boys? It's that better than the first trailer. That trailer alone has made the first movie look even worse than it already was. If they'd stuck with that first trailer that they had, the uh, for the original Suicide Squad, that thing, rather than shoving in all the music and over the top colours and all that, I think that film would have been amazing. With the uh, I can't remember what song they used in it, but the original 2014 2015 uh -oh. Comic Con trailer. Um, yeah, not bringing the clowns, that was the Joker. Um, oh, can't even can't remember what the song is now, but yeah, um, it was really, really good. I'm looking so looking yeah. forward to this film. So much. This is the film we should have got five years ago. Yeah, uh, Dirty Work was the original Suicide Squad trailer. Mm. Is it? Song. Oh, I can't remember. Maybe it was. Are you talking about the twenty fourteen yeah, no, is... comic comic con one? I'll I you two you two talk and I'll I'll double check. Yeah. yeah. Uh, this, I, is I film we this is the film we should have got years ago. Yeah, I mean the first Suicide Squad trailer, I mean myself I didn't think it was that good. This second one definitely looks better. I, I haven't watched DC movies for, for a long time just because of the original Suicide Squad. And mm. uh, I think this is gonna bring me back into it. Yeah, like the life is just ridiculous. I mean, yeah, you've got John Cena, you've got Idris Elba, you've Margo. got Mago Robbie, um, Michael Rooker, Calde, Michael Rooker. Rooker. You've yeah. got David Dal Dal Smashing in his like probably like twentieth DC role. He was in Gotham as one of the Joker's henchmen. Oh, he was yeah. he was in the Dark Knight as yeah. one of the Joker's henchmen. He was in. The Flash as Abracadabra. Can I, I just that... say, I am so glad they are not pushing Jared Leto into this as the Joker again. That was the yeah. biggest letdown of the first Suicide Squad. He's actually really good in the Snyder Cut. I thought he was pretty good. Isn't that right? Batman. Well, I, I don't know. I've not seen Snyder Cut. I don't like him as the Joker. I think that's because I'm tainted. I grew up with the... Well, Mark I remember... One. Uh, well, I grew up with the animated Mark Hamill, with the games with him, and then the movies, it was Heath Ledger, rest in peace, Heath. Uh, but, I mean, there is a theory that that Joker is actually Robin. I don't know if you've heard that theory. Yeah, Jason uh, Todd. Yeah, because there's actually, he's got two wounds on his shoulders, and Batman walks past Robin's thing, he's got two bullet holes in his extreme yeah. uh, space. So, I, I like that theory. I think that would make sense. However, it uh, more sense. It would make more that, sense oh, no. than him being the Joker. Joker, yeah. Can't find the bastard thing. I'll I'll pull it in like yeah, I mean, if I can find it. Obviously, um, Jason Todd he turns into Red Mask, doesn't he? Uh, Mask, Red Hood, whatever. Yeah. Red Hood, that's it. Red Hood. Yeah, that they have confirmed though in the Snyder Cut that was that wasn't Jason Todd. That was Dick Grayson. Uh, that was oh. Zack Snyder said that one that you see in uh, Batman vs Superman is Dick Grayson. Oh, poor Robin. So, uh, yeah, poor Robin. Hang on, I think this is the trailer I'm looking for, boys. That means that means we'll never get a Nightwing movie. Yeah, because I was about to say Dick Grayson turned into Nightwing. Um, Todd turned into um, Red Hood. Yeah, and then um, Tim Drake Wayne. turns into. Tim Drake Zon. turns into Red Robin. Yeah, Red Robin, and then um, Batman's son, uh, Damian. Damian Wayne, he just turns into Batman, doesn't he? Yeah, I got the after becoming the a little psycho. Yeah. I, I started a joke, is the one that I was trying to think of. Oh, 
Oh yeah. All oh, right. Okay. Yeah. Started a joke. But yeah. Anyway, so uh, it's probably been played in the background. We're probably gonna get copyright for that as well. But tough shit. We'll, we'll find a way to get this video out somehow, even if I have to have like 60 million copyright claims on my channel. But anyway, right. Next up, uh, hopefully. Suicide Squad goes well, but next up is Wrath of Man, the new Guy Ritchie film with uh, Jason Statham, his newest one after Gentleman, which only came out last year. So uh, you two haven't actually seen this, have you? Uh, no, and disclaimer, no. I don't like Jason Statham, oh! so this... Uh, disclaimer, I don't like Guy Ritchie as a director. Oh, for <laughs> fuck's sake! <laughs> Jesus Christ. Number one, I love Jason Statham in Transporter, and I love him in anything he's in. Number two, I love any of Guy Ritchie's films. Snatch is like legendary. What the fuck are you two looking at? And uh, I like the gentleman, and I also like uh, Man from Uncle as well. So this is maybe uh, an indulgence for me. Sorry, Ty. What? I mean, I Wrath of Man does Karen. have Holt McCallum um, and Jeffrey Donovan, which I do Holt, like. Holt them, McElhaney, so. or whatever his name is, from Mine Hunter. Holt McElhaney, from yeah. Mine Hunter. And he's in that awful, awful, awful Justice League from 2017. <laughs> in the beginning, do you remember that? I'm going to tie. Yeah. I'm going to tie up a. Uh, um. Oh shit! What are they called? The flying ones from Justice League. Um, oh, Parademons. I'm going to tie a Parademon up, and he's going to explain and tell me where all all the boxes are. Anyway, right. I think I, I'm just going to this film. It's going to be a lot of Jason Statham staring, punching, shooting guns, and driving cars and swearing. Typical Jason and swearing. Statham. I'm film. not even yeah. seeing the trailer, but that's my guess. Right, but well, you're going to find out in a very few minutes. So, <laughs> in three, two, one, go. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a new addition. Oh, he's running. He's a copper. Portico Security specializes in cash trucks across LA. Do you have any idea how dangerous this job can be? Some idea, yeah. We ain't the predators, we're the prey. Street sweeper from Cub. You ready? Ready. I mean, the sinking of the song to the guns is a good addition. Do you have a problem? I don't know. Do I? It's a ten grand drop. You should have been back five minutes ago. They're serious. Leave this to me. Leave this to me. Get in the yeah, he's serious. <laughs> Sorry, pal. Oh, guns! Tie your eyes. Post mate. <laughs> Oh, Johnny Cash, though. Yep. Yes. Josh Hartnett. Play seven. Right. Hopefully, cinemas are open. I'll go and watch this. He's not a cop. But if he's not a cop, what is he? Nutcase. It's Jason Statham. A while back. We lost two guards. A civilian, too. There was an investigation. And we still haven't found the scum who did it. Stop it! You were in an accident. With my last son. He didn't make it. I need to know who killed my son. The tree has been shook. And it's been shook hard. Looks like it. We've scorched the earth. You started by saying you'd do anything. And what I'm hearing is, you think you've done everything. I can see it's gonna be a long night. <laughs> it's gotta be an inside job. I can do it in two weeks. Okay, I wish you could do it in 20 years. Do bear a grudge. Yeah, I noticed. Right, we didn't really pause that one, but what are we saying, boys? Uh, Have I converted you to mirrored. Guy Ritchie and Jason Statham? Bring your mirror. Oh, hang on. 
So what are we saying to that, boys? Uh, have I converted you to Jason Statham and no. um, Guy Ritchie? <laughs> Uh, it looks like every other film that he is in. <laughs> yeah. It looks like every Guy Ritchie film that he's ever Brilliant. directed. And every Jason Statham. It look, just looks like your generic right. 2000s action movie. Right. So now that we've uh, done with that one, I've got one more special one that might cheer you up a little bit that isn't Jason Statham. Without Remorse, starring Michael B. Jordan. It's probably along the same lines as the film, as the trailer you've just watched. So, like I said, without remorse, Michael B. Jordan coming out on Prime. I hope it's Prime in this country, but I'm not entirely sure. Uh, yeah, are we ready, boys? I'm just yep. going to say one thing before we start. It's based on a Tom Clancy book. It's going to be amazing. I can tell already. I love Tom Clancy. Right. So, in three, two, one, go. On your feet. Senior Chief John Kelly is more dangerous and it's boxing again than any man we have in the field. The only thing he has more than kills are medals. Somebody would like to talk to you. John, if you're done in there, we need you to get back in the field. <laughs> Senior Chief Kelly, it appears you have a common enemy with the United States. Um, they took everything from me. I can't remember his name now. My family. I got nothing left. Guy Pierce. That's what I was trying to think of. Their plan is a series of strategic attacks all over the world. We have to respond. I need to be on that team. Lieutenant Commander Greer. Okay, pause. Yep. What are you at? Uh, 107. Um, a little bit ahead. Fuck. Um, there was just a scene with that guy with the gas mask. Yeah. You know what that reminds me of? The Division. Yep. Yeah. Another Tom Clancy game. I, I, I am really looking forward to this. I love the games. I love the books. Tom Clancy is amazing. Uh, yeah, go on. Again. Just wow so far. Um, what was I going to say? Yeah, I, I I think it's more of your generic like Jack Reacher, uh, Wrath of Man type of action film, <laughs> more than it is like a division or a whatever. But I know what you mean. You just no, throw it in just parallels. You've seen the parallels. The... No, I'm just saying it's got the Tom Clancy mask, mask, and you can tell it is based off the books. Yeah. I mean, have you ever read uh, without a mask? No. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> I'll show you that pretty quick. When it's shut down, that's not me and it's shut down. Ring, ring, pussy, it's shut down. Hey. Fashion week and it's shut down. You were like, design I'll, then. I'll you were like, read it after I've watched the movie. Yeah, or I'll just never read it full stock because I don't read books. So I'm happy. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, but so far, this looks more story driven. Yeah. Mm. I think so far, the other trailer, I haven't seen this one yet because it's only been out like three hours. The last trailer I actually really enjoyed. But anyway, 107, we're all on, yeah? Mm. Yep. Right, three, two, one, go. The mission. It just mentioned the division. Did it? <laughs> yeah. Oh, no. They had no right to take so much from me. I hope they do show the uh, shot you saw in the last trailer. Know exactly where we be. They always do. They brought that one in my house. They're gonna play by my rules now. No remorse. Cause I'm sick of Uh, he didn't show the shot from the last one, I don't think. Um, I just pulled, I'm on 205, it's just finished. Yeah. Um, last trailer, there was a scene where he's, it's, it's a similar vein, but he's hunting down a guy and he sets a car on fire and then opens the door, sits in with the guy, interrogates him, and then fucking blows the car up. <laughs> and I was like, that's sick.
Give me a name. You were supposed to be dead. Give me a name. But yeah, what we thinking, boys? Well, um, it showed the gas mask. I mentioned the games, and then it said division about two seconds later. So uh, I think I might be onto something. something. Just about. <laughs> yeah, no. Yeah. So I like the looks of that because my issue with the Jason Statham one, as they reveal halfway through the trailer, he's just a normal dude who apparently can shoot off six people at once and beat the hell up. Whereas this, they've already set him up to be like a war like veteran. He's trained. Yeah. And there's a specific like. I think that's the thing about well, most Tom Clancy things. So the books, the movies, and the games, that it is soldiers doing soldier shit. Yeah, and it's very story based, which I like. Right, and um, we've got one more tray there, which we're just going to take a quick break while Ty gets it all set up and everything, and then we'll be back. Right, so uh, we've just finished uh, Without Remorse. We've just got one last trailer. This is a recommendation from Nate because it's on its way out. Do you know the day it's coming out? I have no idea. It'll be at the end of the trailer, probably. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be coming out later this year. Yeah, um, it's Free Guy. It's Ryan Reynolds at his absolute peak, we hope. Oh! Oh, hello. So, uh, yeah, when uh, my brain's just shit itself. So, in three, two, one. Let me just say first. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, let's hope it doesn't get cancelled because of COVID again. <laughs> yeah, they might drop it on like uh, VOD, like everything else. There's like Cherry and Godzilla vs. Kong. Like. So, in three, two, one, go! Good morning, Goldie. My name is Guy, and I live in Free City. I have everything I need. Nova Will Helm? Yeah. Except one thing. Hey! Excuse me! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> hey, bud, you ever think that there's gotta be more? More than what? The stuff we do day after day. Can Literally we just stop it? Yeah, yeah, what you want. <laughs> So, uh, I'm a 60, uh, 60 fucking, 26 yeah. seconds, Jesus. Yeah. Uh, yeah, so, they're having that conversation on the beach. Did anyone else notice in the original trailer, they had the exact same conversation in the bank? Yeah. 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 Uh, I, I haven't seen the original trailer in a long time, oh. but I'll just take your word for it. So. I mean, I just want to say that this movie, it looks like a mashup of Ready Player One and Grand Theft Auto. And? Yep. Groundhog Day. Hey, Phil. Phil. Hey, Phil Connor. Man. Groundhog Day. No. Yeah. Because he keeps repeating the same day, doesn't it? Because he's in a loop. It's a cartoon, is it? Well, not a cartoon. It's based off a game, I think, isn't it? Groundhog so, Day. Yeah, film. like typical film. NPC yeah. character. Although that came out in 1993. I love Groundhog Day. Anyway, uh, ready to go? Three, yep. two, one, go. Can I be different, Goldie? What are we looking at? Who are you? We ran into each other the other day. How did you find me? I waited outside by the murder train. Guy, I have to tell you something. There is no easy way to say this. This world, it's a video game. I really want to kiss you. Is that weird? Listen to me. You're not real. Wait, you let who kiss you? Guy. Who, Kiri? Yep. Oh, he found the button. Buddy. Uh, I'm definitely getting copyrighted for this fucking song. <laughs> yeah, a bit of, um, best friend. what's it called? I can't remember the song. Bubba O'Reilly. Yeah, Bubba O'Reilly. CSI it. intro. Millie, I know this world is a game, but this place, these people, that's all I have. Thanks, Guy. Who is this guy? This character in the video game Free City has been turning heads by being the good guy. Who is Blue Shirt Guy? You're absolutely right. Who is he or she indeed? This loser is ruining the game. Yes, yes. Mike. Yes. If he's Arnold freaking Schwarzenbader, terminate him. <laughs> We're doing great. Guy, yeah, two days without the game has been shut down. Yeah. You He's good in Jojo Rabbit, though. What if we can save it? Oh, yeah, he's in that, yeah. He's actually, well, it's his film. Was that cool? It felt really cool. We could 
change our world, but we have to fight together. I don't even know what's happening right now. I love it. Woo! <laughs> the first time I've ever driven a car before. I really wish you'd mention that. Yeah. <laughs> you know the one that's in the car with him, with with the girl, in the opposite car. Yeah. That I think, if I'm correct, is Jack Septicai. Yeah, Jack Septicai ah! has been confirmed to be in this movie. Even, yeah, so. he put it up on. Yeah. But I think it's that exact scene. That so. just looks like a fun movie. Yeah, it does. I mean, I think everybody can agree. Ryan Reynolds is a great actor. However, he seems to play the same, same person. He's yeah. literally the same Deadpool, person. Detective Pikachu. It's there to watch oh. that. Well, my favorite thing about the whole Detective Pikachu thing, have you seen what the um, clips he does beforehand where he's like getting into character? He's like, I didn't speak to my daughter for nine months. She doesn't know who I am. It's like his promotion of films. I mean, what's just, did you see the uh, go on? See all the shit did with Hugh Jackman about aviation gym. Have you seen the Match.com advert with the, yes. with the devil and all that? Oh, have that you killed tried me. Aviation gym. No, have yes, you? I have actually. Surprisingly, one of the tastiest gins I've ever. Had. I don't like. I don't like gin, but I did enjoy it. I'm more of a whiskey guy myself. Yeah, I just remember I was just working abroad. I went to my local bar. I was like, oh, what have we got today? And I was like. That's aviation gin. That's Ryan Reynolds's gin. I'll have that, please. Well, um, Hugh Jackman actually did a coffee. And yeah. They did a crossover uh, yeah. trailer great, where great. where Ryan Reynolds is talking really nice about this coffee, and then uh, Hugh Jackman says something like, uh, "It tastes like shit. I'm not going to try it." And pulls it out. Ryan Reynolds is a complete and total. F Gin's pretty great, though. I'll have to try it someday. Yeah. Yeah, but this film is like stereotypical Ryan Reynolds. And that's why it's going to work. Right. It's going to be it's, a good movie. It's got wait. that great mix of humour, story. So, just quickly. Pointless action. Before we go, I'm going to be a dick here now and put you on the spot. Rank them. Not not the trailers, Ooh. the movies you're most excited for. Uh, or the series as well. Black Widow, Loki, Space Jam, Suicide Squad, Wrath of Man, uh, Without Remorse, Free Guy. Okay. Last Place Without Remorse. Yeah, I agree with that. <laughs> no, what do you mean? The Jason Statham one? That's yeah. Wrath of, that's oh, yeah. Wrath of Man. No, oh, that's Wrath of Man. Man. Yeah. Yeah. That last... Then, then without remorse, low key, Black Widow, Free Guy, Space Jam, Suicide Squad. Right. You missed. Yeah, you missed Suicide Squad. Oh, Suicide Squad. Um, before Black Widow. Oh, right. Yeah. No. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say Wrath of Man is definitely down at the bottom. Uh, just because I don't like Statham, I don't like Guy Ritchie. Uh. I'm probably going to agree with that remorse is going to be above that. Uh, I'm going to say Space Jam, then Suicide Squad, uh, then Loki, uh, Black Widow, and Free Guy at the top. Right, and mine, Space Jam's at the bottom. Ooh. That I'm most anticipated for. Then, probably without remorse. Then Wrath of Man. Then Black Widow. Then Loki. Then Suicide Squad and what well, have three guys below Suicide Squad. So Suicide Squad's at the top, then Free Guy. Black Widow and Free Guy, I'll swap around then. So Suicide Squad at the top, Black Widow, Free Guy, Loki, um Without Remorse, Wrath of Man uh, Wrath of Man without Remorse and Space Jam right down at the bottom. So all good with the lists, I'll put them up on the screen, I hope. Um Ty feels betrayed. The space the jam. Space it's, it's not the film. The it's not the trailer. It's just the film. Like I'm excited for it. It's just the one that I'm least excited for because I just yeah. don't know if it's for me. I prefer. I think the 
Like, the Black Widow, you've got nothing really behind it. Suicide Squad's nothing really behind it. Like, excite, uh, excitement, but no nostalgia or anything. None of yeah. these films, apart from Space Jam, has any nostalgia really around it. Yeah. Maybe well, with so, that remorse a bit with the games on the For box. you, yeah. But, but for me, like, yeah. For most people, they, they probably don't even like, know it's a Tom, Spa- Tom Clancy Space, film, Space Jam, for me, has the most nostalgia. Then I feel like Free Guy might. So I feel like there's going to be a lot of video game references in there. Yeah. I mean, are we going to get Jacksepticeye to um, be doing his standard YouTube intro in it? Let's hope not. Top of the morning! <laughs> Top of the morning to you ladies, my name is Jacksepticeye! <laughs> <laughs> right, so that pretty much rounds up everything else. If there's any more trailers that come out, I'll try and collar these two in to react to them. Even if there's only one trailer or whatever in the future couple of weeks. Um... But yeah, that's about it really, ladies and gents. If you wouldn't mind hitting the like button, subscribe, and the notification bell, that means you get notified every single time I upload any of my videos. And liking it means you want to keep these two around and you want more of this type of content. Um, also, don't forget to go and follow Ty. Where can they follow you, Ty? Well, uh, King Ty's Man Gaming and King Ty's Man on YouTube. There's nothing on them yet, but there will be eventually. So, so get the get the followers in so yeah, it'll be a nice surprise for all of us Twitch. when it happens <laughs> yeah you and... see on Twitch don't you Ty yeah and Nate where can they follow you uh, yeah you can find me on YouTube at Nathan Hennessy and you can find me on Twitch at Gately Games 24 uh, and uh, just quickly before I forget uh, we've got something coming up on Nate's channel speaking and trailer reactions we'll hopefully be doing a bad batch one soon whether today or later on during the week or what have you so look out for that go and check out his channel all the links will be down in the description as long as they remember to send me them and then uh yeah don't forget to go follow me on all my socials you've got twitch which is day one games you've got uh facebook uh twitter instagram they're all popping up on the screen and my youtube channel which you're watching me on so uh, i don't know why i need to put that up on the screen because you're already watching me on it but uh yeah i hope you all have a smashing rest of the day rest of your day guys and i shall see you in a bit